and we are back here at the indoor stadium in Singapore for the Singapore Open 2019. And what a performance here by the two Thailand players in the first match in the mixed doubles, taking out the world champion and Asian Games champions in two straight games. We will turn our attention to women's singles now and the world number one, Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei against Akane Yamaguchi, seeded at number three from Japan. And uh, the women's uh, singles draw, we will turn our attention to the top half, the number one seat, Tai Su Ying from Chinese Taipei, against Akane Yamaguchi, number three seats are from Japan. Two players from Japan has made it into the semi-finals and as you can see it's seed number one two three and four who has made the semi-final of this year's edition of the Singapore Open and here we've got Tai Su Ying the fantastic player from a Chinese Taipei so elegant so technically good and she is followed by Akane Yamaguchi of Japan, a former world ranked number one. She's been a number one for two weeks. The head to head between the two players, this is uh, the 16th time these two players are meeting, and 9 uh, 6 for Tai Su Ying. And uh, the last one they played was actually in the final of that Malaysia Open just last week where Tai Su Ying won in two straight games, 21-16, 21-19. Red or black? Choose one. Red, new black. Service, receive or sign? Service. So Tai Su Ying have won uh, the last two encounters. Uh, they have played this year. Last time that uh, Nakane Yamaguchi won was at the French Open uh, last year in October. And uh, here we've got Tai Su Ying. He's uh, 24 years of age. And uh, she is, as you can see, ranked one in the world and she has been ranked one in the world for 122 weeks now and uh, she is up from uh, number 26 to number seven on the hsbc race uh, to Guangzhou, the world tour finals so she moved up from uh, a very fine performance of last tournament in malaysia and here her way to the final, oh, sorry, semi-final today. She had to play twice to play three games. And uh, she was under a lot of pressure in the first round against Chang Bei Wen, winning 21-18 in that last deciding game. Yesterday, 21-16 in the third game, looks like it was maybe close, but she was leading all the way in that third and final game where she won against Sung Ji Hyun of Korea in 55 minutes. Play. Her opponent from Japan, Akane Yamaguchi, is at number four in the world ranking, and that's based on 18 tournaments. She has spent, as I previously said, two weeks as world number one on the world ranking. And uh, Yamaguchi is uh, considered a retrieving player, but I will get back to that because she won yesterday against Rachinok Intanon, the number five seat in the tournament, fairly convincingly, 21-13, 21-17, and had a wonderful display in that match, not only showing retrieving qualities, but also technical, very good qualities, and she was extremely attacking as well. Very, very interesting to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tai Zi, Chinese Taipei. 
as Eddie Sasanto up to as Singapore. And the service touch is Charlish Yamaguchi of Japan. So Yamaguchi to serve. Akane Yamaguchi to serve. Love ball. Play. Start. Three, low. Four, low. Yeah, that's landing well in of that back line. Yamaguchi is slightly hesitant in the back line. I think she knows that Taishu Ying is playing with the drift, but uh, playing very good quality length at the moment. And this one was going long. Uh, I think that's what she's been looking for, Yamaguchi, for the first two or three minutes of this match. Long at the back line, really well left by uh, Tai Su Ying. Five, she was two. in a tight spot there, but look at that, just out. Well spotted. Oh. We saw the attacking Three, qualities of five. Yamaguchi. Taking the pace off on this one here. And Tai Su Ying not able to get there. Four, five. She can rectify these uh, mistakes, uh, I would say, go down as a non-forced error. Open in 2017. Last year she did not participate. Here, Yamaguchi is really adding on the pressure. 
looking at that one, whether she should leave it, chose to play it, and that drop shot was just perfect. Japanese player have uh, won this tournament, and that was uh, last year when that Sayaka Takahashi won the women's singles. Approaching the net there, Yamaguchi, making it an easy kill. Yeah, that's beautifully played. Good play by Taisu Ying, of course, controlling that rally completely. And uh, Yamaguchi seven, seven. forced to take a chance and got punished straight away. Look at that. Options were many. Shot. She knows that Tai Su Ying cannot play a really good quality shot towards the back line and she covers and closes down the net. Try to have a look. This one in trouble but very tight and then follow up, closes the net down. This is just textbook net play. Kamaguchi goes into the mid game interval with a lead of 11 7. Tai Su Ying here, have to try and talk down these seconds. unforced errors. But uh, one also has to say that her opponent of today have really played well so far. Not only retrieving, but also controlling, playing good, solid technical shots seven. as well. Really Play. chasing her opponent around. One could sometimes get in doubt whether to leave it on that side Eight, because of the 11. sideway drift. But well spotted. back eventually forcing look at this beautiful net shot there but here forcing the mistake from Tai Su Ying yeah that's good spotted out anticipated it well got there early and played the cross court a drop shot try to have a look at that moving forward here very fast Really well played by Tai Su Ying. And she's got to find that kind of shots in order to put Yamaguchi more under pressure.
apart from the beginning, it was one of the first unforced errors by uh, Yamaguchi. Two coaches from Japan. And having trailed four points at the mid-game interval, now there's just one point in it. It's a very good, knowledgeable crowd here in Singapore. <laughs> Favourite shot from Tai Su Ying. And that's going long, that's very, very unfortunate for her. Favourite shot from the net, forehand side, cross-court into the deep, forehand corner, setting everything up so nicely, got lots of options, lifting it over Yamaguchi, but it's out of the back line. Very unfortunate indeed. Low position from Tai Su Ying has not worked today so far. Made already two or three mistakes on it. <laughs> Wonderful retrieving skills by Yamaguchi, but all in vain. Completely controlled by Tai Su Ying. That was the one that did the damage. But still, she's getting. Two more shots back. how tight that net shot was from Matt Yamaguchi. faster than Tai Su Ying. Forcing Tai Su Ying to take chances, and sometimes making mistakes. Setting up six game points so far in this opening game. 20 game points at 14 for Akane Yamaguchi from Japan. Smash on the line by Tai Su Ying. Could possibly have been worth the challenge by uh, Yamaguchi. But I'm sure she was standing just next to it. Why 
Madrid. And Amaguchi takes the opening game at 21 15. 15 minutes of play. Putting good pressure on that deep forehand corner, just like what Tai Su Ying is doing to her opponents. Su Ying have not had the best tournament here in Singapore apart from 2017 when she won it. In 16, she lost the first round. In uh, 13 and 14, she lost the quarter final. In 2011, 2012, she lost second game. Second round. Going wide. Good start here by Tai Su Ying. That's the pace I talked about. First from Yamaguchi to the deep forehand corner. Second time round, it was Tai Su Ying, same shot into the big deep forehand corner of Yamaguchi. Tai Su Ying, Two, but three. Yamaguchi completely wrong footed on it. She was anticipating the cross drop shot. Oh. Yeah, beautiful play. Very fast drop shot here. Reversed from Tai Su Ying from the backhand side. Trying to have a look at this one. Very fast. No chance for Yamaguchi landing before that first seventh line. And this is the first time that one is working. Very, very good run of points. 7-2 up. But it's uh, a run of points with a lot of quality 
in what she's doing. Another beautiful winner here. Play the shot behind Three, the back. Nine. Really stretched, still managed to go cross court. Gucci reducing the deficit to four points. And that's going wide. Six, nine. points away. Otherwise, Yamaguchi will capitalise on it straight away. Going long on the back line here. And having been 9-2 up, it's just three points between the two players now. And yeah, that's well played. Into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-7. Four points lead here for Tai Su Ying. Have played really well up to 11. Good cross here, but from a much higher position than the one I talked about that she's missed on a few occasions in, in this match. Confirmation eight minutes, 11 7 for Tai Su Ying. Top one, 20 seconds. Top one, 20 seconds. Yamaguchi reached three finals in 2018. She lost one, but she won 11, two. Seven. That was the Play. German Open Super 300 tournament. And what I mentioned earlier, the French Open Super 750 tournament. Ying there. Adding on a lot of pressure to the backhand side of uh, Yamaguchi. Caught by Yamaguchi. Really got out of trouble on that one. This one here. And then forcing the mistake from Tai Su Ying. Shot, but from what? A very, very Seven. low position. Nine. Yamaguchi reached 
early at the net, but got caught in this one. Well played by Tai Su Ying. Got herself out of trouble. the first challenge Thank of the match. The shot is called out and Tai Su Ying challenging. And it's definitely out according to Hawkeye. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. So just between the two players. Challenge unsuccessful means Tai Su Ying only got one challenge left in this second game. And she was under a lot of pressure in that deep forehand corner here. Still chose to play it. Every time Tai Su Ying goes cross here, not every time, but many times, it's anticipated by Yamaguchi, and she's in there tapping at the net. And that was something that we never saw when they played uh, last week. Well, a long time. And a beautiful delayed shot there. For anyone who's saying that Yamaguchi is just a retrieval player, please reconsider. Back to square one, 13 all. Very good smash, but she's not using it a lot in this match. Maybe because she's not allowed. That's a beautiful shot. Absolutely fantastic shot. And Tai Su Ying into that deep forehand corner there. Really, really well played. Position and then the follow up. First step, uh, the half smash, then the full smash, and then the follow up. Better than that. 
even if you went down there to place it by hand. is right, Tai Sui Ying really have to start attacking, try to score the points. But unfortunately for her, that one was going wide of the sideline. Four point advantage here, 19-15, just two points away from taking this semi-final. Kani Yamaguchi. Once again, really good pace. Yeah, well covered there by Tai Su Ying. Tight spinning net shot on the return of serve. Followed up, close the net. Good play. She's got to find the answers now. Fortunate for Tai Su Ying, the Asian Games champion. She had a great chance there. Match point has arrived. Survived the first one. 17 20. Can she do it? Three times more. to withstand the pressure here, complicating too much. Very, very good pace. And once again, she's missing that one on the forehand side of the net, as she did the previous. And suddenly, the heat is on 19. 20. Tight shot there by Tai Su Ying. Match point number five. Will she be able to convert on this one? 21-20. Yamaguchi gone cross court. <laughs> this time she went cross court. The 
position was very, very low. Wonderful, wonderful play here by Tai Su Ying. Once again, controlling the rally, really putting a lot of pressure first on the deep backhand corner before she started attacking the deep forehand corner. Game point. shots and then suddenly miss it that was a big big opportunity This is when women's singles is at its absolutely best. Wonderful display from both the two players. And here we've got the confirmation, 22 minutes, 24-22 for Tai Su Ying. So it will be interesting to see whether Yamaguchi can mobilize the energy it takes to having had five match points and not been able to convert here in the second game. We will see when the third game starts. from uh, the two coaches of Japan is to try to place uh, Tai Su Ying more on the back line. And she is extremely dangerous, Tai Su Ying, when she comes in at the net. But I think in this match, uh, Yamaguchi has won quite a lot at the net and really been controlling it nicely. ball play we are treated to a third and final game here in this fantastic women's singles sub solver one low First time in this match is Yamaguchi leading from the beginning of the game. Had to cover a lot of court there, Yamaguchi. Then 
just hit the, the top of the tape. Anticipated that well, played it out though. She had se one. seen that one coming. Tai Su Ying. Pushing Tai Su Ying into error, keeping it going, keeping it in, making no mistakes. not enough for Tai Su Ying just to play her basic all-round game. She really has to dig deep and start scoring points as well. She's got a good smash. She can do it. She's having lots of options Seven as well when she decides to Seven, go three. on the attack. Long line. is one of her trouble spots and here this one completely directed towards that forehand Ten, 
taking into consideration how difficult it has been for other players to control the drift, I think these two players are doing a fantastic job. Along with the back line here. Yamaguchi, and this time goes into the net. Okay, we've got the confirmation. Nine minutes. Part one, 20 seconds. Part one, 20 seconds. Eleven, six, play. the opportunities but as we've seen as and when she goes on attack she can score the points yeah this clear from the back line Yamaguchi just buying time this one buying time as well and that is well in good pressure here from Taisuyi twice Yamaguchi is not able to put pressure, shots back on Tai Su Ying, and she really had to lift it high here, buying time, but that attack and clear, just perfect. controlling the rally easy kill at the end and the net there but the whole rally Tai Su Ying just completely controlled closing the gap to three points it's becoming believable again Service line. And is that what Yamaguchi needs to get going? And we have a 
challenge. Taiji challenges called in. It's going to be a very tight call. Very tight indeed. Yeah, very tight, but in. Challenge unsuccessful. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Chan Su Ying has got one challenge remaining in this final game. And we'll have to use that challenge very carefully. And we have a challenge. We have a challenge here from uh, Yamaguchi. He's called out on the back line. Again, a close call. I think just that. Challenge Could call on judge. Service over. 11 14. Play. Skills that uh, gave Yamaguchi a comfortable victory yesterday against uh, Rachel Ovintin. That shot down the line from the back and front of the court. Tai Su Ying has scored her so many points, pushing in it to the deep forehand corner of Yamaguchi. Ball in. Beautiful cross court smash. Thirteen, fifteen. And just 15, one 15. point adrift now, Tai Su Ying. Having been eleven six now. The interval. shot when it works but very ambitious that's out The attacking clears twice now, three times, four times. It's ball out. But Yamaguchi challenge. Yamaguchi have got no challenges remaining. 
And that can be a very dangerous situation. for Tai Su Ying, 20 match points, 17. for Tai Su Ying. A shot that has worked quite well for Yamaguchi in the whole match. Let her down at the very last one. And here we got the confirmation. Tai Su Ying winning 15, 21, 21, sorry, 24, 22, 21, 19. What a wonderful match. 